Hey, what the hell do you want? You come to rob me? Or what? Or what? Help, maybe. Good. Because, well, we... We keep getting robbed. Oh, wait, it's cold out there. Who are you? Just here to help. What's going on? I don't trust drifters, not a one of them. We gotta trust somebody, Sadie. Well, I better be able to trust you. Because I swear, you try to rob us or steal from us, I'll kill you. I don't care what he says. <laughs> Quite a woman, my wife. So, we lost our wagon. I think it was stolen. And I'm scared to go out looking in case this place gets robbed. But I'll pay. I'll pay decent for it. It's over near Lake Isabella. We really would appreciate the help. You sure would. Be safe now. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you found your way back here. This damn snow can turn you around. Well, it can't be anyways. I've got myself lost barely a quarter mile from here after a fresh storm. Uh, I'm still getting used to mountain life, if I'm honest. It comes a lot more naturally to my wife than me. I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't need to hear all this. It's all my long-winded way of saying I need a favor. Well, I'll pay you, of course, what I can. A fellow we work with sometimes borrowed our cart to take some pelts down to trade in Valentine. Well, we were supposed to split the money Except nobody in Valentine seed hide nor hair of him. No pun intended. Said he was uh, taking the long way down west of Lake Isabella. You reckon you could take a look? you came through. We might have some trouble, and I can't leave here for the time being. Jake's gone to town, the bank or something. Some traders were headed from here to Barrow Lagoon, but never showed up. And I know there's been some rough-looking folks holed up at Coulter. Could you go down there and take a look? All right. Well, I'm actually uh, very glad to see you. Got a bit of a situation here, and uh... I'd rather Sadie didn't find out about it. Not until she needs to anyway. I hate lying to her, but like the vow say, for better or worse. And this, uh, this situation we're in, I, I need to do whatever it takes to make it better. Some loan sharks came by yesterday. Thank God Sadie wasn't around. Can't believe the bastards had come to my home. Damn. I was angry. And I, well, promise you'll keep this between us. I sent them back down through Coulter, straight into the hands of that Skinner gang. I just wanted to give them a scare, that's all. Now, if you can break them out of there and bring them back here, well, maybe we can talk again. Buy myself some more time.
All right. Well, this is good timing. Seems to be going from a uh, bad to worse lately. But I said I wouldn't gripe no more. It's becoming a, an unfortunate habit of mine of late. Like Sadie said, we got our health and a roof over our heads. But I am concerned about a friend of mine. Well, uh, more of a business associate, strictly speaking. He helps out with, uh, missing paperwork for banks and such like. Anyway, he was due in Strawberry three days ago, but never showed. Said to me when he left here, he was taking the route down west of Spider Gorge past Dead Boot Creek, trying to avoid outlaws. It's probably nothing, like I say, but he should have been there by now. Could you see if you can track him down? God damn it, I'm mad as a hornet hair. Finally got ourselves a few chickens, then a wolf slunk in last night and took the lot. Big bastard, too, from the tracks. Some feller said he'd seen a real big one south of Coulter, near Spider Gorge. I'd hunt it myself, but I can't leave here, not with all the outlaws around. Please go kill that some bitch for me. Okay. Can you help me with this? Should be clear, I hope. You've been on quite a roll. Watch your back, all right?
Oh, Christ. I just want this winter to end. Damn snow's starting to drive me crazy. Now, Sadie's used to it. She was raised in the mountains, but... I ain't sure how much more I can take. Especially with the debts piling up. Don't mention any of this to her, though. I need you to do something. It's written down here. I ain't proud of any of this, but I'm ready to do whatever it takes to save this place. Appreciate it. Could use your help with something. It's all written down there. You're reliable. I like that. I'm relying on you for this. Thank you. I didn't want to have to shoot you. But my neighbor's real worried. Her husband's been gone three days, took his wagon, headed out towards town. She's worried that the worst has happened. The guy's name is Jeremiah Tollhouse. He's a, he's a decent fella. I hope to high hell he hasn't been killed, but there are some real bad fellas out there. Now, why don't you uh, try to track him down, see what's going on? Well, you be careful out there. <laughs> 